All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones, are becoming increasingly popular as drone sales in the U.S. more than doubled the past year. The increase in drone use is calling for an increase in the knowledge of the rules and regulations that accompany flying them. Hazard Community and Technical College held such a workshop Thursday. We wanted to be um, on the cutting edge of this technology. We have an instructor here, uh, Bart Massey. He is a certified drone pilot and instructor. And so we were really glad that we were able to have him here on staff so that he could uh, instruct the students and get information out to the community about drones. You know, it's, it's an emerging technology. Jobs that are going to be available here real soon because of the uh, possibilities that drones are bringing, ranging from uh, real estate photography all the way to search and rescue to possibly even uh, search and mine disasters and stuff like that. The Hazard Police Department have already been using drones to help them in their investigations. We've had a, f a few uses. We've used it on uh, accident reconstruction scenes, taking uh, video and photographs of uh, accidents that we've reconstructed. Uh, we've also used one during the escape of an inmate from a local jail. One of the things we're, we're looking at for the future is maybe the ability to uh, put a thermal camera on an unmanned aircraft system. And this would allow us to uh, find missing people, people who uh, may be Alzheimer's patients or, or uh, uh, someone who has wandered off from a nursing home or something like that. For more information on upcoming drone workshops, contact Sandy Campbell at the Hazard Community and Technical College at the number listed on your screen. Reporting from Hazard for EKB News, I'm Sean Allen.